Hi everyone, my name is Shahid and in today's video, I'm going to show you that how you can use a line application. Line is a very famous application in Thailand if you ever been here, so you would know that. So in today's video, we will discuss some of the most important and best features that the application has. So let's start our video. First thing you need to do is to open line application. So if you don't download and install the application, you can go to the app store or um, Play Store and you can download the application from there. Once you're done, you need to create an account. So how you can create an account, you can find the link of that video in the description. I already created a video on that so you can watch that video. So once you open the line application, you will see an interface like this. Right at the bottom, as you can see, you have the home tab, then you have chat, uh, there is a uh, womb today and wallet as well. So we will discuss some of the most important feature in this video. So stay tuned to the video. So the first thing is that I want to tell you that how you can chat with someone if you tap on your friend list and you select any, um, any person, any contact, then you need to tap on chat here. In the chat box, you can type in a message, suppose like this, and then you need to tap on this arrow and the message will be sent. If you tap on this arrow here, the plus sign, once you tap on it, here you will find the other option. You can either send file, you can even share a contact, you can share your location, keep memo, transfer, melody shop, you can create a poll, schedule, or a shuffle letter. So if you want to send a picture to this person, just tap on the picture icon here. It will access to your gallery. From there, you can select a picture and send it. If you want to take a picture using your camera, just tap on the camera icon and you can uh, take a picture and then send it to this person. So guys, the next thing that you could do here is to tap on this icon. You can record uh, your message and send it to the person that you want to chat with. Here is the other option. If you want to have a voice call or a video call, all you need to do is to tap on uh, the call icon and this menu will pop up. You can even make a voice call or either a video call. It depends on you. you all you need to do is to just tap on the option. If you tap on the three lines here, and here are some of the most important thing. If you want to mute the chat, you can just uh, tap on this option. If you want to unmute it, just like this, and it will be unmuted. If you want to invite this person to a group chat or uh, something else, you can send an invitation, you can block that user. Here you will find all the media that you share with this person. If suppose you tap on it, here you will find all the photos and videos, links here and files here. So. Here you can create an album as well if you tap on this option. So it will bring you here. You need to select the pictures that you want to add into the uh, album that you want to create. Here you will find the notes, events, links, files and the settings here as well if you want to change it. The next thing that I want to show you is how to create a group. If you tap on the home tab here, and just below friends, you will find the option create group. You need to tap on it. Here you need to select the people that you want to add into the group. Or your contacts here, suppose I want to add these two people or three people. It depends on you how many you can search by name as well. Then you need to tap on next. Here you need to name the group first. If you want to change uh, the profile photo of that group, you can change it by tapping on the camera icon. So once you've done each and everything, if you want to add more people, you can tap on add as well and you can choose more people as well. So once you're done with everything, just tap on create and your group will be created and then you can group chat there. Even you can have group calls, group video calls as well. Guys, one of the coolest feature of this application is open chat. If you come to the services, uh, once you tap on the home tab, then services and slide to the right, you will find open chats. So what are open chats? Open chats are groups where even a person is not in your contact. So there are uh, open chats. As you can see, there are uh, members will be mentioned here that how many members are here in this one. So you can search anything. It depends on your preference. Suppose if I say sports and I search this one, 
and here I will find the list of open chats that I could join. So here you can make friends with people, you can chat with people all around the world. Suppose if this one is one of the chat room and I want to join it, you need to just tap on it, then chat, tap on join with a new account. So here, what you need to do, sometimes they will ask you a question, if you can translate this one and then answer the question and then you tap on next. The, the best thing about this one is that you can create a new profile. It will not be your own profile, your main profile of line application. You can choose a different picture. You can choose a different name for your profile and then join uh, that group. Nobody can send you friend request from there. You can chat with people. It will be very private, like your privacy will stay as it is. Nobody can send you any uh, friend requests from there. They will not even see the, uh, your your main uh, account there as well. They will see the the account that you you the profile that you have created just for that open chat. The last thing that I want to share it with you that how you can add people. So if you tap on the plus sign here, you can invite a person by tapping on the plus sign. You can share your QR code with somebody. But if you want to search uh, someone by the ID, so you can tap on search here, you can search the ID and you can find the person and add them. If you want to find it by phone number, once you need to select phone and then select the country code and enter the phone number and then tap on this uh, search icon and then you can find that person if the person created an account using his phone number. So this is how you can do that. The next thing that I want to discuss with you is the settings. So if you tap on the setting icon here and you tap on your profile, from here you can change your profile picture, you can change the background which is a cover photo, you can change it as well. This is your display name, you can change that as well. Here you will find your ID and if you want to enable this option that means that people's will uh, uh, you will allow people to add you by your id as well not just a phone number here you will find your qr code and here you can set your birthday as well so guys some of others important settings here is the account if you go to account you can find your phone number you can change it by tapping on it you can change your email address you can change your password from here as well here are some of the other options as well. If you want to delete your account, you will find it here as well. Now go to the privacy settings. Some of the privacy settings are important here. You can create a pass lock. You can enable that option as well. Allow others to aid me by ID. You can enable it from here as well. You can generate a new QR code if you want to change it. So these all settings, you will find it here. The next thing is that if you tap on account here, the one thing that I want to show you is that you can pair devices as well and you can enable two-factor authentication from here as well. So guys, these were some of the important and best feature of this application. I have created many videos regarding Line, so you will find the link of those videos in the description below. So guys, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care.